At the end of 2025, the serial production of Russia's new three-axle all-wheel drive Baz heavy trucks officially commenced at the Romanov plant, operated by the Almaz Anti-Air Defense Concern in the Leningrad region. What initially started as a strategic industrial initiative has now evolved into comprehensive manufacturing operations, representing a significant advancement in Russia's efforts to revive domestic heavy truck production following the withdrawal of Western suppliers. In 2026, the facility intends to produce 600 vehicles, indicating that production momentum is consistently strengthening. Although the initial export shipment, comprising two vehicles scheduled for the United Arab Emirates in February, highlights international interest, the domestic market continues to be the main focus. These vehicles are primarily engineered for operation in Russia's most challenging environments, notably the Arctic, Siberia, and the Far East, where dependability, off-road capability, and straightforward maintenance are essential. The Romanov plant did not emerge overnight. Until 2022, the same industrial facility was utilized for assembly operations pertaining to Western vehicle manufacturers, including Scania and MAN. These facilities predominantly engaged in semi-knockdown assembly, manufacturing up to 1,000 trucks per year using imported kits. When foreign suppliers withdrew from the Russian market, both a physical manufacturing infrastructure and a skilled workforce were rendered inactive. Instead of abandoning the site, Almazante transformed it into a facility dedicated to comprehensive localized domestic manufacturing. The transition was not solely logistical, but also conceptual. Rather than depending on foreign designs or rebadged imports, the new Biaz project was developed as a completely Russian vehicle, tailored for Russian conditions and built using Russian and Belarusian components. This transformation represents a comprehensive industrial strategy, shifting from dependency to sovereignty while maintaining the industrial expertise developed over many decades. The name BAD holds profound historical and industrial importance. Originally linked to the Bryansk automobile plant, BAZ has historically been recognized for its massive multi-axle chassis used by Russia's most sophisticated air defense systems, such as the S-400 and S-500. These military platforms are designed to withstand extreme burdens, operate effectively in rugged terrain, and deliver unwavering reliability. The re-establishment of the bay -Z trademark for civilian applications is therefore not coincidental. It draws upon decades of expertise in designing durable, high-mobility vehicles capable of functioning effectively in environments where conventional lorries are unable to operate. The new civilian bad line preserves this foundational DNA while tailoring it to meet the requirements of commercial sectors such as logistics, construction, energy, and infrastructure development. One of the distinguishing features of the new BAS vehicles is what they are not. They are neither reverse-engineered replicas of Chinese vehicles nor simplified alternatives hurriedly built to address a market void. The platform was developed within the Almaz Ante industrial ecosystem with the chassis designed at the Obukov facility in St. Petersburg. This innovative design methodology enables bad vehicles to incorporate features specifically adapted to Russian operational conditions, rather than modifying foreign concepts that are unsuitable for extreme climates. The outcome is a truck platform that highlights structural robustness, modular design, and enduring serviceability. Currently, the BA's lineup includes heavy-duty 6x6 trucks built on a single, unified platform. This method streamlines production and allows for a wide variety of configurations. On this modular chassis, the Romanov facility manufactures heavy-duty tractor vehicles for demanding hauling operations, heavy-duty dump vehicles for construction and mining applications, flatbed and multi-purpose cargo vehicles, and crew transportation and bus variants. By using a common platform, the manufacturer minimizes complexity in production, spare parts logistics, and maintenance. For operators working in remote regions, this standardization constitutes a significant benefit. 
The designated operational area of the BA's vehicles influences all facets of their design. These vehicles are designed to operate in conditions where roadways are inadequate or absent, temperatures drop well below freezing, and service infrastructure may be located hundreds of kilometers away. The 6x6 all-wheel drive configuration, coupled with higher ground clearance and sophisticated suspension systems, enables the vehicles to navigate snow, mud, permafrost, and rugged terrain. The focus is not on achieving the fastest highway speed, but rather on ensuring dependable mobility under burden in off-road environments. This emphasis renders the BAD especially suitable for oil and gas sectors, mining activities, military-civilian logistics, and infrastructure development in remote areas. A fundamental aspect of the BA's initiative is its considerable degree of localization. The vehicles are constructed predominantly from Russian and Belarusian components, thereby substantially minimizing vulnerability to foreign supply chain disruptions. Key systems, including engines, transmissions, axles, and structural components, are procured domestically or from allied suppliers. Power is supplied by Russian manufactured diesel engines, chosen for their durability, torque capacity, and simplicity of maintenance. These engines are coupled with domestic powertrains engineered to endure extended periods of heavy load operation in harsh environments. This localization approach is not purely political or symbolic in nature. It guarantees consistent production schedules, stable pricing, and enduring support, all critical elements for fleet operators making investment decisions within capital-intensive industries. The start of serial manufacturing in late 2025 signifies just the initial stage of the Romanov plant's aspirations. For 2026, the declared production target of 600 vehicles signifies a deliberate and measured increase aimed at maintaining quality standards and ensuring supply chain stability. The facility has been intentionally designed to accommodate future expansion. With adequate demand, production capacity could be elevated to 2,000 vehicles annually, positioning BAZ among the leading domestic heavy truck producers in Russia. Early export interest, including deliveries to the Middle East, indicates that the platform may ultimately attract clients outside of Russia, especially in regions facing comparable environmental issues. Although the existing production models primarily concentrate on three-axle 6x6 vehicles, representatives of the Romanov plant have already affirmed their intentions to broaden the range. Future offerings are anticipated to feature 8x8 configurations, facilitating increased payload capacities and more specialized applications. Such variants would further harmonize civilian Biaz trucks with their military equivalents, creating opportunities in heavy construction, large-scale energy projects, and specialized transportation duties that demand exceptional load-bearing capacity. Although inevitably linked to Russian history, the name Romanov bears no association with the Tsarist dynasty. Instead, the facility is named in recognition of Ippolit Romanov, a Russian engineer and innovator who advanced electric vehicles at the dawn of the 20th century. Romanov manufactured Russia's first electric vehicle in 1899 and subsequently designed a 20-seat electric omnibus, demonstrating remarkable foresight for his era. Naming the facility in his honor emphasizes a dedication to innovation, engineering excellence, and sustained technological advancement, principles that align closely with the objectives of the BAZ project. The start of serial BAZ truck production signifies more than just the deployment of a new vehicle model. It exemplifies a comprehensive reindustrialization initiative wherein defense-level engineering expertise is leveraged to address civilian requirements, resulting in durable, high-performance products for domestic deployment. By substituting imported heavy vehicles with domestically manufactured alternatives, Russia diminishes its strategic vulnerability while maintaining its industrial proficiency. Simultaneously, the initiative creates skilled employment opportunities, revitalizes existing infrastructure, and lays the groundwork for future export expansion. 
As production advances through 2026, the new B-8 vehicles are expected to become a recognizable presence in Russia's most demanding regions. Rooted in established engineering principles, backed by domestic supply chains, and crafted explicitly for challenging environments, they embody a reversion to self-sufficiency in heavy-duty transportation. In many respects, the Biaz revival extends beyond merely vehicles. It concerns revitalizing confidence in domestic manufacturing, integrating military and civilian engineering traditions, and demonstrating that complex industrial products can be conceived, produced, and maintained wholly within Russia. Good afternoon. Lebedev Dmitry Olegovich, Deputy General Director, Chief Designer of Romanov JSC. We are in St. Petersburg at our production site, and now we are starting strong production of off-road trucks under the VAS brand. The truck is developed and manufactured in Russia and is designed specifically for heavy operating conditions. The main competitive advantage of this machine is the independent spring suspension on each axle. Each eight has a load capacity of 12 tons. Due to this very good performance in cross-country and smoothness of the year is achieved, which is important for many regions of operation of this equipment, here you can clearly see our suspension. It looks more like a car. The upper and lower lever is a spring inside it and a shock absorber. All our machines are equipped with a full set of interlocks. These are intershaft interlocking. Central tire jumping systems, due to the test, good cross-country performance is achieved. It is worth noting that all the main components of our machines of domestic or Belarusian production, engine and gearbox, are supplied to us by the driver. This is the Yaroslavl engine plant. The transfer box behind the Nabereznia Chelny MT frame is supplied assembled from an enterprise from Belarus, where Lanzerons are made and it is produced. The body assembly is supplied to us by the Pichema company. This is the city of Krasnogorsk, Moscow region. And all call sign electronics blocks and all electronics are the Utelma Moscow company. Let me tell you a little about the cabin of our truck. This is where we can say our pride developed. We completely ourselves from scratch. The frame is based on panel technology. That is, here inside the metal frame on the outside is fiberglass inside and B is plastic. All passive safety tests and trucks pass them too. We passed from one time thanks to a very good team. Calculation is now based on the functions of the cabin. It has been equipped with modern functions such as rain and light sensors and cruise control. The legal dashboard multimedia, naturally, here is the outputted board with all interlocks, air conditioning, climate control, manual, manual transmission. They also took care of. In regions with cold conditions, we have a pre-start engine heater as a standard. Here we have a dry chem installed under the driver's seats in the cabin. And plus it works like a thermos, that is, the cabin is quite warm. One of the machines is often operated in Yamburg. The temperature has already reached minus 40. The drivers have no complaints. Also, as a basic configuration, we all have tire inflation. You can choose to inflate either sand or loudly according to the settings you need to correct. Singing in tires has a tachograph. Naturally, this is the Aeroglona system. Heated seats, both our seats are pneumatic. That is, they did not start saving on passengers. They also made him comfortable seats, electric windows. And additionally, I want to note, this is one type of cabin that we sit in. We have certified five different types of cab from short, low, under country superstructure to high, long cab with two bedrooms, uh, places which is mainly applied on tractor seats where long shoulders of carriage and both drivers could rest, for example. We have certified more than 50 modifications of both cars and chassis, respectively five variants of Kavir, six standard variants of wheelbase, three types of treads, respectively. Every consumer can choose happiness according to their needs. From timber mixes to crane chassis, we cater to diverse customer requirements. If you like the video, please subscribe, share, and like. Also, Please take the memberships to encourage us. Generate by AI.